let us continue with exercise 7a triangles we have triangle abc then we have angle a equal 100 degree ab equal ac we have to find angle b and angle c already given ab equal ac then we know from the theorem that if two sides are equal the angle opposite to them will also be equal we have ab opposite to ab is angle c we have ac opposite to ac is angle b so that means angle b equal to angle c because they are angle opposite to equal side then we know that in a triangle if we plus all three angle we will get 180 degree angle a already given 100 degree then here we have angle b equal angle c so instead of angle c you can replace with angle b then this one we already know take that side this is plus take that side become minus then 1 plus 1 here we have 2 for 180 minus 100 will be 80 so 80 divided by 2 we get 40 degree so since these two are equal so angle b will be 40 degree angle c also will be 40 degree then in question 2 in the given figure we have a b equal a c then a c d it is the exterior angle it is equal to 105 degree then we have to find angle b a c okay those so remember if we have the exterior angle then what happen the exterior angle will be equal to the sum of the interior opposite angle that mean it will be equal to sum of angle a plus angle b so let us try to find it out they already say a b equal to a c okay from here so remember if two sides are equal angle opposite to them will also be equal so that mean opposite to a c we have angle b and opposite to a b we have angle a c b they will be equal then here you clearly see that this line is a straight line okay b d is a straight line so if it is a straight line then when this two angle if i plus them they will become 180 degree because they form linear pair then one angle we already know 105 so to find the other i can take this one that side this is plus take that side become minus so angle acb equal to 180 minus 105 you minus them then you will see we will get the value equal to 75 then we know that those two angles are equal okay this one and this one are equal because they are angle opposite to equal side so that means each will be 75 then in a triangle if you plus this one this one and this one the interior <coughs> angle it will give us 180 degree so angle b we know 75 acb also 75 we can easily find angle bac 75 plus 75 we get 150 plus take that side become minus so angle bac is equal to 30 degree those then this one we have to remember okay 180 because angle sum property of a triangle then next number three we have to find the measure of each exterior angle of an equilateral triangle we have equilateral triangle so if we extend their side we will get the angle which is in the outside so we have to find the value then we know in equilateral triangle each interior angle equal to 60 degree because all three angles are equal so if we plus all three equal 180 so 180 divided by 3 is 60 degree so if we extend the side to find the exterior angle so clearly you see this is a straight line so that means if we plus the interior angle and exterior angle we will get 180 degree because they form linear pair so this one we know it is 60 so the other one will be 180 minus 60 that is equal to 120 degree so 
Okay, since they are straight line, they form linear pair. If one is 60, the other will be 120. So the exterior angle of equilateral triangle is equal to 120 degree. Then next we have question number four. We have the side AB equal to side AC. And they also give DB equal to side DC. We have to find the ratio of angle ABD and angle ACD. Okay, so clearly, all if we compare these two triangles here, we have AB equal AC already given. Opposite to angle AB, we have angle ACD. Then opposite to angle AC, we have angle ABD. So that means these two they are equal because they are angle opposite to one another. So in that way that if they are equal but we want the ratio so if i bring this one down we are left here with one so that means the ratio of these two it is equal to one is to one because both of them are equal since they belong to the uh, angle which is opposite to equal side then next we have number five we have triangle pqr where we have the side pq equal to qr then we have L, M, N, they are the midpoint of the side PQ, QR, and RP. We need to prove L, N equal to M, N, those. So now they say PQ equal QR. So here PQ equal QR. So opposite to PQ, we have angle R. Opposite to QR, we have angle P. So if the side are equal, angle will also be equal. So we can say angle P equal angle R, which is the opposite side to the equal angle. Then they also give us that L, M, and N are the midpoint. Okay, they are the midpoint of PQ, midpoint of PR, then the midpoint of RQ, those. So that is why we can write QL equal to LP, PN equal to NR, QM equal to MR there. So we have PQ from the beginning equal to QR. So half of PQ definitely equal to half of QR. Okay, PQ equal QR, so half of it equal. So half of PQ, if we compare from the figure, it is LP, then half of QR it is equal to MR there. Okay, so here we see clearly that LP it is equal to MR because half of PQ and half of QR. Then if you compare those two triangles, PLN, okay, PLN and MNR. Then we have angle R equal angle P. Then LP equal to MR. From there we get N is a midpoint. PN equal to NR. So that means this two triangle, they are similar by SAS similarity. So in that case, that means we can say the side LN equal to MN because they are the side of the congruence triangle CPCTC. So we prove what the question one. Then next one we have here. Okay, we have line segment A, B, and C, D. They intersect at O in such a way that A, O equal to O, D. O, B equal to O, C. So we have to prove A, C equal to B, D. But A, C may not be parallel to B, D. So we draw the figure. Okay. A, B intersect C, D at O. We prove that A, C parallel uh, equal to B, D. But A, C may not be parallel to B, D. So here if you see, if you compare this to A, O, C and B, O, D. Already given A, O equal OD then OB equal to OC 
then if we look at this angle they will be equal because they are vertically opposite angle if we have letter x remember they are vertically opposite angle so in that case we get two side one angle so that means this triangle they are similar so if they are similar the remaining side this one will be equal to this one cptc so in that case we can say angle a is equal to angle b okay cp ctc and also angle c equal to angle d then we get it is equal but they say may not be equal so if you take it not equal okay but we already have ao equal oc then if you check oa the angle opposite to oa is oca then the angle opposite to oca equal angle oac so if we compare them then we get oac angle obd if we compare equation one and equation two okay but here it shows that they are alternate angle so if they are alternate angle that means the line will be parallel if the alternate angle are not equal then they will not be parallel but since alternate angle are equal it shows the line are parallel